let's just get straight into this, right? No fucking about. Maximum Overdrive is a 1986 horror film directed by Stephen King. A cameo with Stephen King in it at the start. Written by Stephen King. Based on a story by Stephen King. Also sponsored by Cocaine. Stars Emilio Estevez, a whole bunch of character actors and shit that you might recognise. And the gist is, some comet that's going to be lingering around Earth for fucking a week has made all the trucks and appliances and shit turn against humanity, trying, trying to kill them and shit for some reason. Oh fuck, where do I even fucking start? Let me start with the music. Now, I know this might hurt, I do enjoy ACDC, but fuck me is the music out of place in this movie. Not only that, there's some weird shit in this too. Like, alright, here we go. There's one scene where, where there's this young boy, and he's riding his bike through, I don't know, some town somewhere, and everywhere he looks is fucking, there's dead shit, right? Uh, so... He looks up at this window and there's a woman there who's been strangled by a hairdryer or something. And he looks over here and there's a dead dog and all that kind of stuff. But every time that happens, every time, and this is really weird. Every time he goes to see a dead body, bow, dead dog, wow, dead person hanging out of the car, wow, wow. Why is there guitar riffs when this kid sees dead bodies? That's so weird. And sometimes when there's, when there's people about to die, there's this really awful fucking psycho music. By psycho music, I mean... <whistles> fuck, that's awful. What ends up happening in, in this movie is these trucks kind of trap people in this truck stop. And they've got to figure out a way to escape. I know this movie predates Tremors, but it reminded me a little bit of Tremors, where they're stuck in a situation, they've got to figure a way out, except while Tremors, even though it came out a few years later, is smart, funny, witty, horrifying, well acted, clever, awesome, one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life, uh, this movie is not that. <laughs> oh my god. So there are appliances that come to life as well, like this waitress gets cut up by a fucking, like, an electric knife, uh, this, you know, video games and jukeboxes, trying to hurt people, all this kinds of stuff, and, oh, of course, there's the trucks, but why not the cars, and if the cars aren't affecting people, how come, at one point in the movie, there's a car with a dead body in it, and, the, and you know, the windows, like the electric windows has been rolled up and, and strangled them? Cars haven't been doing that, and unless they do, then why is it truck machinery and appliances, but not really ca cars? As someone once quoted in this movie, What the fuck is going on around here? Oh yeah, do you remember that bit? It, it, or even if you haven't seen this movie, this is a weird bit. You don't know why this guy's really done it. It feels like out of the blue and out of place. He just barges into the room like Kramer and just said what I just said. It's fucking bizarre. Some of the acting's not that bad. You've got some pretty good character actors and Amelia Westevers. I like him. But, but then... But there wouldn't be maximum overdrive if some of the performances weren't a bit fucky. Like... Like the the car the, the car salesman that sleazy motherfucker who's selling the Bible Bibles he's, he's pretty over the top, but the waitress, we made you, we made you, fucking Jesus Christ, calm down. Whew. And all right, so trucks and cars unaffected, but then there's this kind of buggy thing with the machine gun on top. Where's the consistency? Why aren't they getting tanks if they can get machine guns? Why do they only get the one machine gun? How is a movie predictable and nonsensical at the same time? 
I don't get that. How do the trucks know Morse code? Why did a truck burst into flames before it crashed? Why? A lot of things in this movie are perplexing, but there, there is something that is 100% true. This movie's fucking hilarious. Because it is so bad that it is good. You watch, sometimes you watch a bad movie and you're like, oh, this is too much, I can't really, it's, it's too bad. I can't, I can't put myself through this. Then a movie comes along at maximum overdrive and it's so watchable in terms of its chaos, its stupidity, and its balls-to-the-wall nonsense. It is a fucking ridiculous movie. I love this, I love the music in it, but wow, is it so out of place. They try to amp up tension in certain scenes only to kind of ruin it with either some really bad acting or just something stupid happening. And I was riveted for the entire 90 minutes. So was my life. We couldn't get enough. Weird thing to say about a movie that I've just been slagging for a few minutes now is I wish it was longer. I would have loved... You see, like it's like a train wreck, but it's only a three-car train. You, you you don't want to see a train wreck like that. You want to see... You don't want to see train wrecks. It's just... Yeah. You want to see, like, one of those fucking uh, transport trains, you know, for... Uh, I don't know, fucking wood or metal or whatever the shit. You know, they got like fucking 30, 40 carriages. You want, you know, you know, a nice long train crash, I guess, is what I'm trying to say that I wanted. Whew. Man. All I can say is... If only Stephen King had more coke. I'd watch another movie that he made. I really would. I really would. This was awesome in its awfulness. I know I'm going to give this movie a rating right now. It's low. But watch this fucking movie. I'm serious. It's funny. For the wrong reasons. The acting is... I mean, the, the truck effects and all that kind of stuff look good, but you will see a truck catch on fire before it crashes, which is weird. You'll see, you'll see great premise, a great premise, but so inconsistent that it, it takes you out of the story, but not in a bad way, but in a head scratching way, like, what the fuck? Where's this movie going? I want to watch more. So yeah, I'm going to give Maximum Overdrive. A four out of ten. It's awesome. <laughs> Gotta fucking watch this movie. Nothing about it works. Nothing. It's a hodgepodge failure from start to finish. But it's so endearing. Man, check this out. I'm serious. Check this out. You will not regret it. And... You probably will, though, regret giving me a like, dislike, share, and subscribing. All right. Something like that. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter as well. All right. Enough of this crap. <laughs> Let's stick the thing on the, on the thing. Yeah, we got to put maximum overdrive at the bottom. We made you. Uh, what the fuck is going on around here?